Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justin here from Simplified Investing. As you guys can tell from the video, this again will be our weekly watch list, breakout plays to watch for in this coming week. Uh, before I get started, if you could like and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And then again, if you are interested in joining our private team where you get our alerts, you get our course access, you get much more than that, you get help from myself as well and a community of over 1,350 members. If you could check out simplified-investing.com today, we would love to have you guys on board. So as you guys know, if you've watched our previous videos, really what I like to do and what I like to watch right away is going to be the market. Where can we expect the market to go? What are we seeing on the market recently? And really, here's what I'm seeing. We're obviously in a clear to find uptrend, of, as I mentioned here previously on the weekly from that 323 low here. Constantly making highs here. Granted, we do have those pullbacks. Pullbacks are healthy in an uptrend here, which we are seeing. Really what I'm seeing here on the weekly chart, we're trying to form this cup. You see, got you guys see this mini cup formation here at this 364.38 high here. We get this little cup formation here. Now we're trying to push through that 364.38 level to make another base to the upside here. Really what I'm want, wanting to see is a break and close above this 365 price point here tomorrow, close over all time highs, and then a continuation run here uh, up to new all-time highs as mentioned here with that strong base support provided at 358.75 as we have mentioned a lot of times. Again, not much volume here on Friday as it was a half day on the market here celebrating Thanksgiving. With that being said, let's watch and see if we can break the highs here at 365 with that 358.75 providing that base support here intraday and intraweek as a key level to hold coming into the next week. And again, the reason for this low volume, as I always say, follow volume, follow volume, low volume recently due to the Thanksgiving and also the half day on Friday. So that is something you can expect when you are only having the market open until 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. So again, let's see if we can close on a daily above of this 365 level to form a new base with that being the support or retest and hold of that 358.75 support level will be key in the coming week for further upside. If we do break below that 358, we could see that downside back towards that 350 uh, price point here on SPY. With that being said, first play, we will be going through four plays here. They are in no specific order, just ones that I've came across, patterns that I like, things with volume and uh, that nature. So first one, MRNA, as you guys know, and especially for those of you on our private team, Really, the big thing I push is follow volume, follow trend, follow uh, price action, and so forth. Really, what I'm seeing here on MRNA is we're finally getting volume flowing back in here. So you can see right here on 11.13, we get this gap up here. We get this cup formation. We're finally breaking that cup here with volume flowing back in. Again, we're trading almost 50 million contracts here on a half day on Friday, which would have been almost 100 million if we did have that whole day for uh, trading. Excuse me. So we get this sideways pattern here. Break out of this cup formation. Now we're forming new bases towards highs at 130.06 uh, with this support provided intraday at 123.88. Obviously, this one's breaking out here already, but let's watch for a continuation breakout with volume here. This still has more room to run here. Follow volume, follow the trend. Look, we're normally trading around 3 million contracts here. Heavy volume coming back into mRNA here. Watching this breakout, we finally gap through this cup formation breakout with strength. Look at this price action. Two very strong bullish candles here to the upside. Now let's see, ideally, if we can get a consolidation up here around this 127.48 price point and then another leg up here on Tuesday. Again, looking very strong, getting volume coming in here. And if we go out on the weekly chart, volume flowing in here, very strong here. You see this consolidation that we had on 1116. Now we're making this leg up here, breaking out with volume. Ideally, let's see consolidation towards this 127 area and then this 123 area. And then let's see this break of highs here. I will be watching this one to scalp here intraday. If we do break that 130.06 level here, we'll be watching level two volume and trend intraday on a shorter time frame, such as the five day, five minute and five day, 15 minute. Really, we'll just be watching to see if we can break that or retest of that support here if we go in on the five day, five minute. Again, you can see this base support provided here at this 122.71 level and then also here at 123.88. So it's actually a play that we had here. Good play, push to the upside. Uh, we get this gap up, consolidation base, break with volume. 
And then we get these, you can you guys can see that one of the highest volumes that we had during the day, the five minute was around 1020. Look how buyers were taking control of this 122.71 bottom here, and then just slow consolidation throughout the day here. Obviously this was after hours here, and the market did close right here after hours here. So again, MRNA, the first play of the week, looking very strong here. Let's either watch a 130.06 break with volume, or retest of that 123.88 base support. Watch level two, watch buyers coming in at that level, or if we do gap below, can watch puts to the downside and retest of that 115 price point area here. Again, I can't stress this enough. Don't just be a one-sided trader in that you have to play calls. You have to play calls. Play both sides of the price action. Play volume. If it's a put, play puts. They're just they're just the same as calls are going to be, and you can play them the same as you would with puts or calls. So again, follow volume, follow the trend, and I guarantee you guys will start seeing results from trading the second play and one that's actually been mentioned previous uh last weekend we had this one on our watch list here at this 629 price point look how look how much this went this is a potential 100 percent gain on equities if you did watch last week's play or last week's uh video so again here what i'm watching Clear to find uptrend here. If we go out on the weekly chart, really this is what I'm liking here. Finally seeing that volume flow in. Again, the most volume uh, fuel cell has ever seen here. Trading almost 800 million contracts these past two weeks. Now we're finally breaking this consolidation base on this downtrend. Now let's see if we can make highs here over this 1143 level or if we can consolidate here on this weekly chart, uh, ideally around this $10 price point. Going into next week, we can see that another leg up here. Let's see either if we get a pullback or if we do make higher highs. Both will be bullish in this case for fuel cell. One thing we don't want is going to be a bearish engulfing or strong price action and sell volume to the downside. We do have that gap support down here at 629. But again, fuel cell very strong here, pushing up 10% uh, here on fr uh, Friday. Now we're pushing up here in the after hours as well. Follow volume, follow volume. Let's see either if we get a consolidation or higher highs to uh, make a play on this one. We'll be watching intraday if you are playing. Keep in mind, this one does only have December 18th expiration options, and they are going to be very expensive. So calculate your risk accordingly and use proper account management before entering into a position, not just entering and holding with hope. The third play, the one that I've gotten a lot of comments about, is going to be PLTR. Obviously, we had this pullback. Obviously, it's overextended. That does not mean you can't play it. It does not mean it can't make higher highs. It does not mean it can't make lower lows. Again, I can't stress that enough. I got people mentioning to me, oh, like the uh, when we post the watch list on Instagram or breakouts to watch, oh, but the RSI is high. That does not mean anything. We had the RSI high here on 11.9 at $14, and now we push up to $33 here. So you can't just base your sole trading off of one lagging indicator. You have to complement it with volume, price action, uh, the levels, you need support and resistance levels, you need trend, you need to follow that. You can't just base it off of, oh, I'm buying puts when it hits red here in RSI and I'm buying calls when it's blue here in RSI under 30. So again, follow price action, follow levels and monitor this intraday, follow volume and utilize level two to see where buying and selling is coming in around these key levels here. So really what I want to see is I want to see a breakout over 28.69 and retest of highs here on the daily. These pullbacks are healthy here in an uptrend. Now you just need to wait for either a consolidation before another leg up or make higher highs here in the coming days on PLTR. We do have a gap support provided below at 2423, also here at 2547. Key level tomorrow, watching this intraday is going to be 2869. One thing we have noticed recently with PLTR, it does a lot of times have that heavy retail volume interest inter or, uh, during the morning hour, the first hour market open pushes up and then it typically consolidates or fades here going into uh, going into the afternoon session. Obviously, that's not going to be a given that happens every day, but that is a trend that has been happening recently on PLTR. Liking this breakout here, we don't have enough time frame on the weekly chart here again. Recent IPO here, consolidation, uptrend here. Let's see either if we get a consolidation on this weekly chart or a gap through 28.69 over 33.50, uh, making higher highs for further upside potential here in PLTR. Again, looking good. Key levels, 28.69, and then we got that support here, 25.47. This one we'll be watching here intraday. Again, when you get anything that is moving, uh, that is moving a lot, like PLTR, like NEO, like all of them, you can expect that higher implied volatility, more expensive premiums. So again, calculate your risk accordingly and always execute a plan. Don't just enter and hold with hope. 
The last play, one that actually looks really good here, one that we've been watching pretty closely, is going to be ticker symbol SPSE. So space, really what I want to see and really what will confirm this move is a breakout over 28.92 here. This is going to be that gap support and gap level that we need to fill that gap up towards this uh, 37.09 level here. Key will be over this 28.92 level here. Really what I want to see is not just a break above, I want to see this uh, accompanied with volume, which you can see we don't have the highest volume right now like we did back here on 218 in February and March. Now let's see if we can get volume above 28.92 and strong price action to the upside. Again, when you're setting support and resistance levels, don't just enter and exit off of these levels. Accompany them with volume, accompany them with trend, level two, momentum. Use those to your advantage. So let's see if we can get volume here over 28.92. That will confirm this breakout here on the daily. We need to accompany obviously with volume on this breakout here, but technical wise, SPCE or Virgin Galactic Holdings looks very strong here above 28.92 and will be something to watch, something that we will be eyeing for a play, waiting on volume, waiting on that momentum and price action here, gapping through with potential to see that 37.25 region here on uh, Virgin Galactic. Again, isn't going to happen overnight, but wait for that uh, execution, wait for that plan, and then uh, enter and ex execute off of those price levels here. Again, 2892 uh, is that resistance level to break, and then that 2631 base support here. That being said, that wraps up our four plays of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are interested in getting daily alerts like that we send out to our team, our course, and really taking your trading to the next level, check out simplify-investing.com today. We would love to have you guys on board. Hope you guys enjoyed your extended Thanksgiving break and look forward to trading with you guys on Monday. Thank you.